welcome back to our cottage garden in Somerset and today we wanted to make a video telling you about our ducks and the reason we got them and how they help us in the garden so we've let the ducks out free range you might see them running about you can probably hear them they are Indian runner ducks and we've got three the names are Waylon, Abby and Coco and we've had them for about a year now uh, we did have five at one point but sadly one of them got eaten by the fox and the other one we had to rehome because he was fighting with our drake so we have one male and two females currently and we're looking to get another couple of females in the next few weeks but onto the reasons we got them so the first reason might be quite obvious it's eggs um, same reason you'd get chickens or any other sort of ducks but duck eggs are a bit different to chicken eggs um, the first thing is the shells come in all sorts of different colours which is really really pretty um, ours are mostly blue or white runner ducks lay an awful lot of eggs so you can get one between one and two eggs a day from the females they don't lay in winter but in the other months they do lay so you can get about 350 eggs um, per female we get a bit less than that we probably get maybe 200 per female per year perhaps a bit more than that but um, they're really lovely the yolks are massive compared to how they are in chicken eggs and they're really creamy and rich and nutritious which means they're really really good for baking um, but we mostly eat them for breakfast so we come out here in the morning feed the ducks take the eggs in and have scrambled egg or fried egg for breakfast um, the other good thing about runner ducks is they very rarely go broody so they don't mind if you take the eggs they're not going to want to sit on them they just literally plop them out and abandon them we're quite lucky because ours do lay them in the same place i know some people find that runner ducks just will literally run around and drop an egg anywhere and it's a bit like doing an egg hunt trying to find them but we're quite lucky with ours they're predictable um, but the eggs are amazing and that was a really big reason for us getting the ducks the second reason we got the ducks is they are amazing foragers and they love eating slugs and snails which was a huge problem for us before we had the ducks when we try and grow vegetables we had slugs absolutely everywhere all over the greenhouse even in the polytunnel um, in the borders and now when we have the ducks out free ranging um, especially if we let them out after it's rained they are really good at finding slugs and they love eating them and even when the, du the ducks are locked inside I can go in my greenhouse and take a bucket and pick all the slugs off and then I'll just feed them to the ducks um, they will eat snails, slugs unfortunately they do eat frogs and newts so we try to keep them away from the pond when we know that the newts are breeding in there um, but very rarely they'll find a frog um, and they will eat fish as well so it's important to keep them away from fish because they're not the nicest of creatures towards um, fish um, they also eat moths and flies um, so I've, I'm interested to see if they're going to eat some of our um, asparagus beetle and other pests that we've got in the garden but even if they just eat the slugs we're super happy with that the third reason that we got the ducks is the compost um, and obviously growing a lot of vegetables we need a lot of compost to help feed the soil and when we clean the ducks out we use straw for their bedding they poo a lot so they poo once every 15 minutes as you can imagine we get quite a lot of compost from them so we have three compost bays that are the size of a pallet um, probably one meter by one meter per bay um, and once a year we empty them and they'll all be completely full and that's enough compost for us to um, dress the top of our um, vegetable garden and in turn that feeds the soil with lots of nice nutrients and helps us grow vegetables that are really really good for us um, but it's also just an easy way of managing the mess that we get from the ducks rather than throwing it away and composting it is kind of a win-win situation one of the reasons that we went for runner ducks specifically um, compared to other types of ducks is um, that they don't need a pond um, they are happy if you give them a pond but it's not a necessity for them the only thing that they do need is water that's deep enough for them to fully submerge their head in because they'll need to flush out their throat and nostrils after they've eaten otherwise their throat will um, essentially they'll start choking after they've eaten and you can see when they eat they start shaking their head to try and move the food down and that's when they'll go and have a good drink of water and submerge their head in the pot of water um, so usually we give them a small kind of paddling pool that we change the water every day but they are happy with the deep bucket as well um, and when we're allowed to we let them up to the pond but obviously as I mentioned earlier we have to be careful that the newts aren't breeding in there because we have a really really nice population of newts in the garden and we just don't want them to be eaten by the ducks. Runner ducks are also naturally flightless which means we didn't have to get their wings clipped and we don't have a risk of them flying away. Some other ducks um, can fly so you might have to look into clipping their wings um, so that just made the choice easier it was um we never really considered getting any other sorts of duck because there were so many reasons to get runner ducks another reason we bought runner ducks compared to something like chickens is they don't scratch the floor when they're walking around 
Um, so if you have chickens, for example, they like to dig and scratch and they can end up terrorizing your vegetable beds, pulling up plants, making it really, really difficult if you're growing seedlings. Um, runner ducks don't do that. They can flatten things if you have really sort of tender plants growing. So for example, they have been running through my tulip bed um, and they have flattened a few of those. It depends how big your space is, whether they're going to flatten your plants, but we generally find here we've got enough space. Um, they don't cause too much difficulty in the border, but I do try and move them away when I'm growing things that, like alliums or tulips that are um, prone to collapsing if they have um, pressure put on them. But with things like shrubs, roses, bushes, you'll be fine. Another good thing about runner ducks is they tolerate the cold really well and you might find that surprising um, when you look at them because they look so elongated and skinny but they're actually really cold hardy so we don't need to heat their enclosure in the winter. Um, I know our winters aren't particularly cold, we just get a few frosts here and there um, but we don't need to do anything. The only thing they are fussy about is they don't like a cold wind so as long as you can provide them with shelter from the wind they will be fine. We've never had problems with them getting too cold in the winter. Um, and they just manage really, really well in every single weather circumstance. Um, they're also good in the heat. So if you do have cold winters and hot summer, they might be a good breed for you. But here in zone eight, in the south of the United Kingdom, they work really, really well and they're happy in our garden. And then last but not least, uh, one of the reasons we bought Indian runner ducks is just that they're a fun pet. And I think if none of the other reasons were true, we would still want them um, just to have as a pet because they're really, really lovely. They are quite social. Um, they are a little bit scaredy sometimes if you're carrying something big past them, maybe a new bucket, they might get spooked, but they are generally quite social and friendly. Um, you do have to be careful with the drakes in mating season, they might try and peck your arms and legs, but the girls are absolutely lovely. Some of them don't mind a cuddle, others are a bit more shy, they've all got personalities, but they're just lovely, lovely things and they make me so happy, I love watching them. And if I'm ever having a bad day, I just come out here with a cup of tea and free range the ducks and I instantly feel better. So there you go, there's um, our reasons why we got runner ducks. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more duck content, garden content, cottage content, please give us a follow. Thanks so much.